home in Niagara, it's important to understand the closing costs involved in the process. In this video, I'll break down the different expenses you need to budget for when purchasing a, a home in Niagara. Hi, I'm Vanessa Wilson, realtor with Cole Banker Momentum Realty here in Niagara. So first, let's talk about land transfer tax. When you buy a property in Ontario, you're required to pay a land transfer tax based on the purchase price of the home. The amount you pay or owe depends on the value of the property. The Ontario government provides a transfer cal tax calculator on their website, which can help you estimate this cost. Or of course, your lawyer will let you know. Next, there are legal fees and disbursements. These are the costs associated with hiring a lawyer to handle the legal aspects of the home purchase. They will review the purchase agreement, conduct a title search, and ensure all necessary documents are in order. Legal fees can vary, so it's important to get quotes from different professionals. Another expense to consider is the home inspection fee. So it's highly recommended to hire a professional home inspector to assess the condition of the property at the time you purchased it before finalizing the purchase itself. If you have to borrow money to purchase, as in a mortgage, the lender usually insists on a buyer having a home inspection done so that they so that they can verify what they're investing in. The inspection fee can range from a few hundred dollars to a few thousand dollars, depending on the size and complexity of the home. In addition to these costs, there are also property appraisal fees. Again, if you're pay obtaining a mortgage, the lender may require an appraisal to determine the market value of the property. The appraisal fee is typically paid by the buyer and can range from a few hundred dollars to again, over a thousand dollars. And don't forget the cost um, of your home insurance policy. Most lenders require you to have a home insurance policy in place before they finalize the mortgage. The cost of the insurance will depend on, yep, factors such as the value of the property, the location of the property, and the coverage options that you select. And don't forget to call and set up your utilities. Best to do that weeks in advance. Most utility companies want assurance that you're paying your last utility bills. So ask your previous utility companies to provide you with a reference. This will lower the down payment your new utility company will charge you as a deposit for their services. Lastly, there are utility and property tax adjustments. When you purchase a home, you'll need to reimburse the seller for any prepaid property taxes or utility bills. These adjustments are typically calculated by your lawyer and can vary depending on the time of the year and the length of the billing cycle. So remember, these are just some of the closing costs you may encounter when buying a home in Niagara. It's important to work closely with your real estate agent and lawyer to understand all the expenses involved and budget for such cases. I hope this video has been helpful in explaining the closing costs to you as a buyer. Um, and if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to a real estate agent professional such as myself, who can provide you with personalized advice. Good luck with your home purchase and have a great day. Please like, share and subscribe.